So whether you want to start a new YouTube channel and want to put some of those skills to use, especially while waiting to get approved for ads on your channel, or you just want some easy ways to make some additional money online, here are 7 different ways that you can make money with either Fiverr or YouTube or both. And as usual, throughout each of these 7 different methods, I also show you free and easy tools that you can use to help you make even more money and your work much more efficient. It'll be easy as one, two. Before I begin though, do me a very quick favor by very gently smashing and obliterating the like button for the YouTube algorithm, and you can also consider subscribing to my channel for more cutting edge videos about making money online and digital entrepreneurship just like this one. Plus, you can check out my investing channel as well. And with that, let's get started with the video. So first of all, starting out, I do want to quickly point out that Fiverr does have a dedicated section for YouTube related gigs, although it's not super inclusive of all the different types of gigs you can do, and that's why I sort of make this video, but you can definitely refer to this for some inspiration as well and to find some of the top sellers that uh, you can sort of see what they're doing right but anyhow getting into our first cutting edge and easy low effort gig uh, that is related to both Fiverr and YouTube that you can make money with both of them because again you can uh, list your gigs on Fiverr and your services to sell them and then you can also use those skills to develop your own channel and your videos on YouTube right anyhow the first one on my list is doing video compilations and first off any type of gig including these video compilation gigs related to YouTube will likely be in demand for a very long time as YouTube is not only growing at a very rapid pace but it's also the second largest search engine in the world right now so um, with this one all you really need to do is to find these uh, relatively copyright free and also uh, depending on the niche you want to go into right and sort of depending on what your client actually needs so you definitely want to have for example when you're creating your gig you want to make you want to make your client fill out a form where they actually specify what exact types of clips they need and all you really need to do without having to worry about you know what the videos go into later on is to put together the video clips for your client right let them worry about you know how they're going to monetize their channel and so on and so forth right that's their problem anyhow all you really need to do for these is again depending on your niche you can download these video clips from a variety of places right and most of the time you'll be able to find uh, especially viral clips that you can indeed use legally in most of these compilations and one way to find them is to go over to YouTube itself so you can actually search for creative commons videos on YouTube and just make sure that they're not sort of incorrectly labeled from large uh, large content creators and they're actually creative commons or you can also go onto other sites like again depending on what your client needs uh, reddit list is a really good one to go to because it covers a lot of niches right so you can sort of find video clips from basically any niche and also trend right and it's not just niches but also specific franchises as well so this can be really really helpful and let's just say we wanted to do funny clips so for example on reddit list i can actually click on the sunny, uh, funny excuse me funny subreddit which will actually take us to this subreddit which is like a forum where people post their video clips right and oftentimes a lot of these video clips have been posted and reposted again and again anyway because they're going viral so you generally get away with um, downloading these videos for your compilation especially since people are going to be crediting and in your gig you can also credit uh, whoever you're getting these video clips from anyway right so um, you can basically just find some of these clips um, and a lot they're always like up to date and uh, always new ones that you can find and when you find one that you think is funny and or even multiple that you think are funny you can just go onto Google and just search for like a reddit video downloader uh, most of these should work but you might have to try some different ones because they sort of rotate sometimes on Google search but once you find one that works all you have to really do is to go and find your URL of your funny clip and then just cop go into the link first of all copy up the link go on to google or to the reddit downloader and just download the video clip like that right and after you've downloaded multiple of these clips um, that you're satisfied with you can actually just go on to any video editor you prefer and recently canva has actually become a great way to edit or compile videos especially with like sort of list style or compilation style video clips right so you can definitely just go on to canva and it's completely free uh, you can first of all start up a dimensions or a canvas that your uh, suits what your client needs, right? So for example, if they need like a shorter video, like a YouTube Shorts, for example, you'll want the longer, uh, longer height, shorter width type video. Or if they want a standard YouTube video, you can just type in, you know, you can just search up YouTube video and it'll give you the right dimensions for that. And after you do so, you can literally just use your new video editor. Um, they've actually updated, just updated their um, 
interface here as you can see and at the very bottom what you can do is you can drag in each clip to each page so you can actually specify how many pages you want at the bottom uh, you can drag in each clip to each you know to make them an additional page and that'll just become you know your compilation right so each slide so to speak will just be each video and while all of them strung together will be your compilation of course and with that onto gig number two we have video research as well as video seo which means search engine optimization such as finding keywords and specific types of uh, topics to make videos on that'll potentially get a video more views so for this there are th uh, several free tools that you can use that you can find right on google and one of them does belong to google itself which is Google Trends and with this you can simply just type it well first of all you can filter by the country so it also sort of depends on uh, which country for example your client wants to target and for instance if I select United States I can just search up any topic I want um, like I don't know movies and then you'll be able to find not only uh, how this keyword is doing so you'll see that it's sort of trending uh, that the trend hasn't been changing that much over the last year but you can actually scroll down to look at related topics which can be very helpful to find additional topics that are sort of related to a general broader keyword that you can potentially deliver to your clients. And besides this, and especially when it comes to doing SEO and keyword research, another free tool that you can use is called vidIQ. It's a Chrome extension, it's completely for free which um, allows you to, for example, if you search up any video on YouTube, you'll actually be able to click into any video of your choice and of your topic, such as, let's um, let's say, let's open this one. And on the right, you'll be able to see what exact keywords each video is actually using. So as you can see on the far right here, we have all the keywords that uh, this new and fairly popular video is using. And so you can literally just, when you're doing, for example, keyword research for your clients, you can just copy up a lot of these keywords and you don't necessarily have to use the exact same keywords from just one video. You can sort of combine them from a couple or a few videos and it's really, really easy to do, right? All you have to do is to click on copy here and just paste them onto like a blank um, Google Docs document or, or something like that right? and just combine that with using Google Trends to find some of the top trending topics and keywords to help optimize um, search results for your client. On to the next type of gig and some of you might be a bit surprised at this one because YouTube generally does do its own uh, automatically generated subtitles but there are some exceptions where content creators and YouTubers will actually want subtitles built into the video itself rather than having it uh, secondarily generated from YouTube or they would want both right and this way they can not only customize the text but also make it more accurate on their video itself um, and, don't, and people who are watching the video don't have to toggle on and off um, the subtitles to be able to see them so some, some content creators definitely want them and fortunately there are also ways to create these quite easily using free websites and software. The first one of, the first one of which is called uh, Easy YouTuber where you can literally upload any YouTube video or just the audio track of a video which you can easily extract from any video um, and it'll actually generate a subtitle from any of these listed languages for you. Um, and I believe it gives you up to 15 minutes and after that you do have to subscribe for a small fee but it could be worth it if you're already you know generating sales on Fiverr for example. Alternatively and sort of in addition to this you can also use another uh, software called ArcTime. Um, I realize that this is in Chinese, right? But all you have to do is to go to this website, download the software, and the software itself will be in English, or you can select it to be English. So notice how there's Windows, Mac, and Linux. You can just download it in whatever, you know, 64 bit or 32 bit. And you can actually just use this software, which is extremely, extremely useful. I've actually done another video on it, which I will link down below for a full tutorial on how to use this software. Again, it's very, very easy to use. Uh, all it basically does is, or um, what it allows you to do rather, is that you can actually Again, put in your video and then you can um, either use any automatically generated subtitles from, for example, Easy YouTuber. You can put it onto the onto here and this software will allow you to very easily sync together any text you have on the right side here. So notice how on the far right, there's like a blank, um, let me expand this real quick. There's like a blank spot for you to, or like a text box for you to put in your text. You can just paste them in if you want or just type them up. And then the bottom is where you would sync up the text with different parts of the video. Again, it's very easy to use. I'll link up the full tutorial to this down below. And with that, onto the next types of gigs and I actually have a couple of types to show you that are similar. The first of which is whiteboard and animated explainers, many of which um, you can actually generate with templates from various free or mostly free websites. 
And another one of these categories or similar ones is slideshow videos, which again you can also do with Canva as I've shown you as I've shown you earlier. Uh, and I do have a lot of these stock uh, images and video clips that you can um, use legally. Besides this though, you can also, for either type of these videos, you can also use a website called Xplay, which allows for, um, as you can see, if I just click into one of these videos, which allows for these sort of whiteboard animation type videos, uh, where you have a hand that's drawing like writing stuff and also drawing stuff. And um, I actually have a tutorial on this as well right on my YouTube channel. I'll link this video down below in case you wanted to see it. However, I believe Xplay is not completely free anymore, although it does have a free trial. But fear not because there are other platforms that you can consider as well, such as, um, let's see, this is called Powtoon. So as you can see, Powtoon also has lots of templates you can choose from. If I, for example, just open one of these, some of them will be uh, so-called pro, which means you do have to pay for them. But there are also other ones that are free, right? So you can definitely consider using some of Powtoon's templates as well. Whoopsie daisy. So you can definitely use some of their templates as well um, And you can also edit them right you can change the text you can change the images you can also uh, Sometimes add in your own images and even video clips as well and speaking of which another one that's very useful Well, this is how Powtoon basically works first of all so you can uh, It's very very customizable as you can see and it's sort of slideshow based as well But it's also animated not only that but it's also animated really really fluidly between each slide and also within each slide so that's Powtoon. Another one is Lumen5. This is also really useful, especially if you have um, text or articles to convert into a video because how it essentially works, although you could also sort of put together a video or slideshow video in a traditional way, how it mainly works is you can actually uh, put in any text that you have. For example, if your client has a website or certain content that they already, they've already created, you can just take that and use the text to create or have Lumen5 generate a video for you. And I'll actually link a tutorial for Lumen5 in the description box as well. So you can definitely check out uh, various tools that can be very helpful in creating a variety of these types of videos. On to the next type of gig and this is actually more of a set of gigs with a lot of different types of um, things that you can potentially offer. And this is basically any sort of graphics that you can do for YouTube, uh, mostly using Canva as well because it does have a lot of great templates and assets that you can use to design these. For example, you can do YouTube thumbnails, um, you can also do just you know banners and artwork and just uh, graphics for YouTube in general and you can also offer packages that um, offer multiple ones of these within just one gig so again even though um, you can only offer seven gigs which is quite a bit right you can offer seven gigs again as a uh, new seller on Fiverr but within each gig you can also offer specific types of packages for people right so this actually expands the possibilities and sort of business and money making opportunities even further so you can definitely do banners um, YouTube thumbnails um, YouTube profile pictures um, and just again graphics in general and besides this you can just explore Canva largely for a lot of the templates that they have so for example here right away I already see like the template for YouTube thumbnail which I can open up I can look at all these different templates that they have and um, one of my favorite ways to find free assets or rather one of the best ways that you can do you can use right on Canva to find royalty free assets which means you're legal to use for any of your images or video clips is you can click on Pixabay or Pexels on the left here first of all they don't actually show up you can actually click on more at the bottom and then it, they'll be within the more link here right but basically pixabay and pixels are both websites where you can find photographs and just illustrations and even video clips that are that people have put up that are completely free for you to use without having to sort of deal with any legal implications right so this is a great sort of treasure trove to find lots of sort of stock images and things like that that you can basically use for anything and um, really quick though some people might be asking and also perhaps a bit like, skeptical in that um, they might think oh if it's so easy to create these things using canva and so on and so forth like why do people even go on a fiverr and you know pay people to do it well, there's a few reasons that people definitely still uh, would pay for stuff like this and it's to sort of save themselves time, right? Because this is sort of outsourcing. Outsourcing doesn't necessarily mean people can't do it 
or know know that it's necessarily hard to do something, but rather um, a lot of times people, especially businesses,、uh, might be so busy they might rather spend their time doing, for example, creating their own videos, right? So they don't necessarily want to spend that extra time designing stuff that other people might be doing a better job. At, um, than them anyway, right? So that's why they pay. Again, Fiverr, like people can pay like a pretty small fee, like five dollars, right, for decent work. So that's why again people would actually go onto Fiverr, and the reason that Fiverr is actually so popular. And onto the next type of gig, which is somewhat similar but also a bit different, because we're mainly dealing with video clips here as opposed to just images. Although sometimes images can work too. We have YouTube intros and outros, which, as you can see, people are actually charging a bit more for as well compared. To Compared to some some of the image type gigs, so there's definitely some opportunity here, and it's also quite easy to actually create these and customize these. First of all, again, Canva is an option for um, animated um, intros and outros. For example, if I just open up one of these, we'll see that they have some great templates, and not only that, but you can actually animate a a simple page like this by clicking on the top left here and selecting the sort of entering animation for the elements that are on this page, right? So, for example, I can do block. Um, this is what block looks like.、Uh, pan looks like this. It's like different. Rise looks like this. Photo zoom looks like this. So there are a ton of different effects that you can simply just use on Canva to animate these otherwise sort of still images, right? So these types of subscribe screens、uh, are great for outros. Otherwise, you can also use、um, some of the other templates here for intros. Or there's another website that's free to use, which allows you to sort of easily edit. Uh, sort of these short clips, especially used for YouTube intros and sometimes outros. It's called Panzoid.com. There are a lot of templates on here, but if you're going to be using any of their templates, you have to be careful that you're not infringing on any artist's, you know, copyright.、Uh, but it usually does say within the project if you click into it whether or not you're allowed to use it. Otherwise, you can easily design your own、um, creation too,、um, just by dragging in and uploading your own images, uploading your own、um, music. You can also just type text. So again, your client, for example, they, if they have a YouTube channel, or if you want to use it for your own YouTube channel, you usually just type in the name of your channel, right? And so it's very,、um, it's pretty easy to use.、Uh, might not be the most intuitive at first, but the tools are mostly simple enough. It's more like camera based, so you do have to have like a camera to shoot, or it, there's like a camera tool in it that sort of shows. Uh, what the video actually becomes, right? So whatever is captured by this virtual camera is what, you know, the video clip or the YouTube intro will actually be. Sounds a bit complicated, but basically you just position the camera as you can see here, position it wherever you want in the space, and whatever it chooses will be the video itself. That's basically how it works. And then so in front of the camera, you'd have the text, you'd have the images, and so on and so forth. And last but not least, real quick, we also have voiceovers, which in my opinion can actually be a great way to differentiate yourself because everybody has a unique voice. So if you just Put up your own demo of your own voice, provided you have, again have the right setup. And there's actually a free software called Voice Meter, which is one that I use that you can use to sort of make your voice sound even more fuller or better. You can sort of tweak how your voice sounds. But anyhow, I think voiceovers can be a decent opportunity. And another idea that I have is, especially if you're going to be doing、um, YouTube Shorts or helping people with YouTube Shorts, which is like a completely new sort of sub niche within YouTube, which could actually see、um, a lot more popularity coming up. So it could be. Be actually wise to list gigs related to YouTube Shorts in particular. Just sort of a prediction on my part. But anyhow, if you can actually, if you want to actually do voiceovers for YouTube Shorts, it could be a lot more manageable and shorter. And not only that, but if you actually have the TikTok. Um, app installed on your phone. They actually have a、uh, built-in text-to-speech tool where if you just have a video and just type in any text, it actually comes out with a, or it actually allows you to use a really、um, a decent、um, text-to-speech tool that you can just use to generate. You know, voiceovers on these short video clips without having to actually do the voiceover yourself. And that is pretty much all I want to show you in today's video. Remember, you can actually check out my free YouTube ebook in the description box below, and you can also check out my new course on which I have two free lessons, and you can also grab a coupon code for it for a limited time only. And with that, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. Peace.